Hey everyone, we're here with School and the Gang checking out this custom school bus conversion. School and the Gang is two couples from Europe who came to Canada, bought this school bus for $5,000 and they're converting it as they travel. Using used, donated and reclaimed materials, they're planning to travel around Canada, the US, Mexico and Central and South America as well for a year, maybe two, and then they're going to ship this bus on a shipping container all the way back to the UK where Quentin and Shana are going to make it their full-time home. So we're going to go meet them and take a look inside their bus. We're all traveling together in the bus, which has, doesn't really have a name yet. I mean, we thought we could do this like this thing together, so we, yeah, we got some money together, came to Canada. Quentin tried to convince me to come along with him, and I was like, no, got a job, and then he just said, if you don't do it, you may never do it, and that was pretty much it. I was the last one to sort of accept. It's great to be able to learn to do all of this. We did all of this by ourselves, and it's so rewarding. We're all basically Excel spreadsheet pros, but for building, I'm the closest to it. I've worked on a building site as an office manager, but actually picking up tools and drilling things, I have no idea with. So, I mean, everything we've done is from YouTube, from social media. our uh, schoolie, uh, driver's seat and immediately after we start with our living area. All of this we built out of free pallet wood. Um, we insulated it well, just put our flooring down, also insulated on the knees. Besides being lounge room, it's also Alex and Alex's bedroom. We've got a sofa bed that was also built out of completely free wood. We've got uh, an inverter here that we're going to install within the next couple of days to connect to our solar panel, which is 265 watts. So our battery bank we um, built with nuts and bolts and our fresh water tank over there. Um, just with no experience, but with all, um, no welding, just uh, just drilling holes and fixing rods and, uh, and bolts to it. This holds four batteries, that's a 40 gallon water tank. This is our kitchen. We only really spent money on the hinges, all free wood up oh, in the sink. Um, it's got all the storage that we really need. Got simple plumbing system uh, with the pump, um, pumping water from one freshwater tank underneath up to the sink. We are only going to have cold water to start with. We use a simple camping uh, propane stove uh, that was also gifted to us. We've got a 20 pound uh, propane uh, cylinder. This is our bathroom. This is going to be our shower. Um, I'm thinking that the shower head might come from this side here. So we've got that pipe that comes from the kitchen like I showed earlier. And this is our DIY toilet. Uh, it's simply like a bucket with sawdust. So we just got sawdust. It's been working really well. Doesn't smell. It's not complicated. On this end um, is what I call the master bedroom. <laughs> Queen size bed. We made the um, bed frame ourselves as well. We've got heaps of storage under there. It's really, really comfortable. It's nice to open the door in the morning and just get out that way. Um, this wall gives us a bit of privacy, I guess. Mm -hmm. We'll potentially put a curtain over, over here. It's all very ideal and utopic, uh, but you know we're going to have to earn some money to to live. Um, so we both got working holiday visas in for Canada, and so we can stay for two years. When we left, we were a little different from the other two. They have working holiday visas, 
we saved up for six or seven months. So um, we budgeted our uh, money out for the year and then uh, so to help Quentin and Jana convert the bus and travel on the bus as much as we can and then head back home. Traveling with another couple, I think we have different views on that because Alex has known Quentin for a really long time. So basically it's me traveling with like a, a friend I've had for years but everyone else is kind of a little bit very new friendships so that's a little bit odd. As for two couples, um, it's actually not that bad. The four of us are pretty headstrong so we all have different ideas on how things should be done or how mm -hmm. so it has led to some few awkward moments where we had to sit down and have you know a chat but it's worked out and I think yeah. it's normal just we're living with two other people 24 7. The biggest reason I'm such a fan of bus life or living on a bus is uh, once you've put the work in and made the space it's it's a home and then you can just go absolutely anywhere. Every day could be a different view and realize actually that you can make anywhere your home. Thanks for watching this video we hope you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to see more videos like this.